tuning in to another episode of Ebony Ladies in the DR. I'm your host, Bridget, and guess who is back? Whoop, 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 whoop. Everybody say hi to Tammy. Y'all remember our original Ebony Lady? Hi, Tammy. Hello, hello. It's good to see you again. It's good to see everybody out there in YouTube land. Hello, hello. Right. So today's topic, everybody, and I said Tammy is going to be the perfect person to talk to you about this. So I know a lot, the economy is not going well right now. So with everything being closed, even though a lot of businesses have started to open up. So as everybody knows, you watch the show, you know, Tammy is an expert at Forex trading. So she's going to tell us why, especially during this time, having uh, another skill set, having another hustle, having another business, why it is so important to get involved in something just your one nine to five job take it away Tammy absolutely and first of all Bridget thank you so much for having me back on the show I'm always happy to talk about money and finances and more than that though is creating a life that works for you and so I think for me when I got into Forex trading and I joined the company that has basically taught me everything that I know and please excuse me everybody I have corona nails you know the economy's down nobody's going to get their nails done so I'm not going to be embarrassed by it though because I know I have a great message for you all. right um, <laughs> you know like like let's just keep it real it is what it is um, <laughs> You know, when I started trading Forex, for me, it was it was a way to provide my life here in the Dominican Republic. And I didn't realize, you know, what almost eight months later, the whole world was going to shut down. You know, I didn't realize that there were going to be people all over the world hurting because businesses are closing and jobs are shutting down and people don't know when and if they'll be able to go back to work. And is it safe even? Right. To exactly. Work, right? It's, you don't even know if it's safe. So I think that it is, it's important for everybody, whether we're in a pandemic or not, it's important for people to understand the way that money works, okay? So for those people who, who've never heard of Forex or um, it might not be familiar to you, if you've ever traveled, you've participated in the foreign exchange market, okay? Because when it comes to Forex, what we're doing is we're exchanging currency. So in the same way that the New York Stock Exchange you are buying shares of company with forex you're actually trading currency that's all it is you know and the difference is the foreign exchange market is bigger than the new york stock exchange right. um, you don't have to worry about countries going out of business they're not going out of business so uh the dollar is going to be there whether we like it or not and so the good thing is we can make income off of that um a lot of people, the reason why we've been doing well with Forex now in this economic downturn is because you can make money on the Forex market when the market is going up or when it's going down. Right. So for instance, um, a couple of, right at the beginning of the pandemic, right at the beginning of the pandemic, right when the coronavirus hit Australia, I was in the uh, Forex market, right, trading the Australian dollar and the United States dollar against each other and i kept getting in for a sell because i knew the australian dollar the value of that currency was going down and so i profited and was able to triple my account that way and so i say all this to say that it is very important whether it be forex or any kind of investments or or, or other ways of creating income online i think it's so important for people the world that we know it, I don't think it's going to ever be the way that it was before. Okay. I really don't think it is. It's the same thing that happened when 9-11 happened. Like, I remember when you could get onto a plane and you didn't have to take off your shoes and your belt and your this and your that. You could just walk right up to the gate. Like, I remember those days. And now it seems foreign to us that we can do those things. I remember when you could take water through the airport. <laughs> yeah. Well, Absolutely. now... I think from this point on, we may have to wear masks when we go to grocery stores. I think from now on, there's going to be extreme levels of separation and distancing. A friend of mine, she's a teacher, and she said in her school, they're even saying that there'll probably be no such thing as snow days anymore or hurricane days anymore. Now that the schools have the technology to be able to teach the children from home, there's never a reason for schools to have to shut down. So that's going to change the world as we know it. Like, really? Really? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Again, another good thing, though, Tammy, with your Forex, all the people that, you know, are 
their jobs are basically called non-essential. I really kind of hate that term because I think everything that somebody does is important to another person. So to me, it's not... I, I, I hate that label, non-essential. I think everybody's job is essential. But for those of us, or those of you people that can't work during this time, I mm-hmm. think Forex trading is an awesome idea because you can do it remotely. You Absolutely. can do it when you go back to the States. You do it when you're in the Dominican. So those are things that, you know, we have to get out there for people to realize that they have to find jobs and side hustles and, and things that they can do where no matter wherever they are in the world. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. It's, it's imperative. Everyone should have a way to create income online in some way, shape or form. Right. Because if this ever happens again and they do believe there's going to be a second wave. Right. Exactly. Yeah. They said in August or September, hopefully we'll be home before the second wave hits, you know, mm-hmm. and we can be there in our new community, Dominican Republic, and wait it out with the rest of, you know, Amer- with the rest of the Dominicans, let me say. But right. you know, it's just, it, it's something beyond imaginable, I think, what's going on now, you know? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And one thing I wanted to uh, touch on is I know your fiance, not husband yet, but how's the wedding planning going? I got to ask that. Oh, you know, it's, um, it, it, it's kind of on hold. Like we have everything planned, but right. we can't really do anything because the world is shut down. Literally the moment that I completed my relationship, I can't wait to sit them out. And that's when everything started shutting down. And so we didn't feel comfortable inviting people to a wedding, not knowing what was going to happen, knowing that people weren't working, things like that. And so now that the world is kind of reopening, um, we're now starting to kind of pick back up on where we left off. So yes, the, the wedding is still happening as of now. Um, and we're excited about it. <laughs> I bet. Listen, so this not just your wedding and getting engaged. It's like this year has been beyond what anyone could have ever thought. And my heart kind of goes out to the 2020 seniors, the high school seniors, yeah. the college seniors, because everybody wants prom. Everybody wants skip day. Everybody wants senior picnic. And I'm like right. thinking of all those fun things we did, you know, as right. seniors. And I'm like, oh, you know, that. so it was just, uh, I don't know. I, I, I said people have to be so appreciative, though, of the moment that they have, especially since we're all healthy. You know? Right. Yeah. You know, Absolutely. So, I, I mean, I have been enjoying, I'm living through you on the beach. I'm living through your posts on Facebook because I miss the beach so much. I'm outside right now, but it's a little chilly. There's no sunshine today. But no. uh, I am like, oh, every day I check the DR weather. And I said, let me see what Tammy, let me see if she's on the beach. You know, so tell people how if they don't have access to go to the beach and brighten their day, what could they be doing just to, you know, because a lot of people are letting the coronavirus, the whole coronavirus, on a situation get them in a depressed mood give them some tips yeah well we definitely don't want people to be depressed and I, and I know listen here's the thing even though we live on an island we can suffer from the same things a couple uh, months ago I felt like I was going through a little bit of culture shock depression myself so so I want you to know that wherever you are you can start to feel these feelings of like unhappiness um, and so for me I always say listen Find a place that you can go that brings you a sense of joy. Now, for me, it is the beach. That's why I go every day, pretty much. <laughs> I, go, I walk to the beach because I just feel rejuvenated. I feel uplifted. And because the beach is, you know, there's nobody here right now. The beaches are pretty empty, so it's, right. it's pretty amazing. Now, you might not have a beach at your home, but you may have a lake. You may have a park. You may have some place that you can go where when you go there, your spirits are, are uplifted. Or you can even create space in your home. Create a space that just, it's just for you. You know, a space where you feel like you can breathe, you can dream, you can think, you know? Right. Um, I think in this time, it, it's very important that we keep our minds right. And that's the only way I can think to, to that's describe the best it. way to say it. That's because if not, you will lose your mind staying in the house all day, binge watching TV. You know, I, I tell people also, use this as time to be productive. There's something that you've been wanting to do, learning to do. 
take this moment and, and, and do it. Like I took this time and I really focused on my business. Um, so along with getting better at trading, but also teaching other people how to do it. And my business has exploded. I'm making more money during the pandemic than I was before because oh. I need now. I see why people need to have an avenue to be able to make money. And I, and I just want to say, can I just say one other thing too, just about, yeah. um, you know, we've all been taught a system of wealth, right? Right. We've been taught that you go to school, you go to college, get in debt a lot, a lot of times, right? Right. It's, that's fine. It's good debt, as they say, even though sometimes it can be I, I've heard a good debt, but yeah. <laughs> Listen, listen, I'm like, listen, I wish somebody had told me when I was 18, like, no, that's not good debt, that's you know, it's debt. that's what it is. Yes. Um, but we're taught, you know, to go to school, get the job, um, and then, you know, just leave our retirement and things like that to somebody else. And although, listen, that can work for you, I think you have to understand how wealth is created in our world because most people who follow that plan, 60% of people in this world work for somebody else. 30, um, 35% of people work for themselves. But oftentimes you're working more hours. Sometimes you're making less money. Um, you've been an entrepreneur. You know how much time, energy and effort goes into creating a business. That's it is hard, you know? Hard. And it's worth it. That, I mean, it's, it's, worth it's definitely it. worth it. It's worth it. It's worth it. And I love having my freedom to be able to create income from anywhere and do anything. But it's interesting though, because 60% of people work for somebody else, 35% work for somebody else. I'm sorry, work for themselves, right? Mm -hmm. Not meaning not owning a business, meaning you, right. you are self-employed. Okay. And that 95% of people in the world only hold 5% of wealth. That, and then 5% of people in the world that hold 95% of the wealth. It's business owners like yourself, right? Business owners and investors. Yeah. And yet most of us are never taught in school that you should own a business or that you should learn to invest. Yes. That's it. So it's just, I mean, this should be, I, I, I'm hoping that this whole thing is going to be a blessing in disguise for a lot of people. Cause I know so many people who work, 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 work. And now that they're out of work, they, they're like one paycheck literally away from being homeless, which is mm -hmm. a sad thing to hear when all you ever do is dedicate all of your time and give all of your energy to a company that's not paying you enough money that you could afford to be off work three, four months. That is a sad fact. And, and unfortunately, that's the fact of a lot of America, not just Americans, of a lot of people around the world. Because I'm hearing it from my friends from other countries, the same thing. So I said, why would you continue to work 50 hours a week? Why would you continue to, you know, get, dedicate all of your time and energy and your years yeah, at the age that you are now working hard for someone else when everybody has such great ideas for businesses and things that they can be doing. And we are such a creative people that I said, this should be the time where you sit and, and develop your talents, develop your creativity, get that small business going, branch out on that idea. You know what I mean? Instead of just sitting back in and, and kind of letting depression take over you. And so sometimes I say, oh, the coronavirus might be a blessing in disguise because this is a time where people who have worked so hard all the time, now they're finally getting to spend that time with their children and getting to know their children, getting to know their spouses, getting to spend time with their families, their parents, like I'm doing, you know, so it, I, I say you have to take, you have to find the good in everything. Absolutely. You know, and that's the, uh, that's the opportunity now. So whether it be getting your a side job or learning how to Forex trade or like creating your own business, doing something else with your time and being productive, I think is what, you know, this whole coronavirus thing has shown me and a lot of other people that you cannot put all your eggs in one basket. 
Right. You can't. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, you can't. It, I mean, uh, I like, I miss you guys so much. I can't wait to get back. Right now, oh. it's like June 7th, um, and I wa- I've been watching the updates and everything. So it looks like we're finally going to get home. And I don't know. I feel like I'm moving there again. I feel like yeah. I'm starting over again. Really? Yeah. How long have you been gone? Uh, since February 27th. Yeah, that's, yeah. so february 27th and i'm girl and i'm just now getting ready you know starting to get back in shape i said this is the first year in years that i haven't had a swimsuit body i don't have a swimsuit body right now so i said i have got to get it together i'm looking forward to getting back and getting my exercise and you know and eating healthier there's so much good food in memphis oh my god all i do is eat you know, and I, I see you've been baking peach cobblers, so I got to see Hochi when I get back, because we're coming over for peach cobbler. Listen, listen, when I tell you, you're not the only one who's not beach ready. <laughs> I'm not beach ready. I'm not wedding ready. I'm like, listen, we're, on a, we're starting a 10-day um, kind of uh, fix your body thing okay. right now. Because <laughs> we were both like, uh, yeah. But yeah, I just wanted to touch bases with you because people are always messaging me, where are the Ebony ladies? Look, we are all over the place and don't think we will come together again and we got a lot of celebrating to do. We got a wedding, we got a new baby coming. So what is the baby's name? Shanna, the name was Darius? Darian, I think it's Darian. 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 Beautiful name. So we'll be sharing that. So we got a new baby coming. We got a new husband coming. So Ebony Ladies in the DR, you know, we always going to try to keep you all posted on what's going on in our lives there, you know, because now, especially, um, so many people are reaching out to me about moving. They're like, okay, life is short. I got it. If I'm going to do it, I need to do it. So we've had people revisiting our old episodes, watching the real estate. We've had so many new questions on there about the real estate, um, about the shopping. Isn't that amazing? Yes. So it's turned into like a kind of a resource channel which is really good, you know? That's, that's yeah, and that's exactly what, you know, what, what you wanted when we created this, right? Yeah. So people that are thinking about moving abroad, not just to the DR, could log on, look up prices for grocery, look up should they buy a car, look up where to live. So, and as you know, we I think we accomplished that. Yes, you absolutely, know? absolutely. It. So any last words before we go? No, that's it. I'm like, listen, guys, <laughs> this is your moment. This is really your moment. So you have two options. You can look at this as a moment where people are keeping you inside, or you can look at this as a moment where you get to be inside. You get to rest. You get to learn something new. Exactly. And so I highly recommend, especially for those of you guys who want to move um, to the DAR, you've got to figure out a way to fund your trip. Unless you're retired you know, and you have income coming in that way, you have got to figure out a way to fund your trip. And so I I say, look into investing. And if you need anything from me, you guys know, you can always reach out to me. Um, uh, I can give you guys my Instagram. Is that okay, uh, Bridget? Yeah, so so I can put it on there now, or then I'll put it in the comments for you at the end of the show. Just send it to me, however you want me to Cool, so Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, however you want to contact me is okay. Tammy Washington Speaks is my handle i'm always happy to um answer any questions you have about funding your your stay abroad there you go guys so any anything that we didn't cover don't forget as always put it in the comments i'm going to put all tammy's information in there so those of you that are ready to invest in yourselves and start forex training learning some new things new hustles we're going to have all the information there for you and what is it ebony ladies in the dr we're here what every thursday 9 p.m eastern standard time don't forget like subscribe and share and hopefully with my next Three, four episode coming up, I guess, on down the line. We'll be in the DR and not sunny Tennessee or Mississippi. I'll be back home. So hopefully, fingers crossed, June 7th. All right? Everybody take care of Tammy. You look great. Ah, I'm seeing it. I think you look good, girl. <laughs> so I'll be seeing you soon. I'll keep you posted, okay?
All right. All right, talk to you later. Thank you for joining me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bye. Bye. <laughs>